said, we have a couple of other things we can do without retuning. This is uh, the first one. It's called cross tuning. If when you do it on a harmonica, and, and some guys call it cross tuning on a guitar as well, and that is play in a different key from the one that you're tuned to. The easiest, of course, is that C I just showed you. If we use this C, F, G, and never play this D note, or rarely play this D note, you know, we can play in C. So you don't even need to drop this string down to play in C. But how about if you want to play in D? Well, there's a D chord. And we've got two Ds there to bounce back and forth on for bass. And then we have a G for our four chord. That's real handy and real sweet and real strong. The only hassle then is an A7, the five chord, which we need a lot in most Western music. The five chord is the second most common, second most used chord. It's really the pivot to get you home back to the one chord. Um, so we have to play some tricks. I have a, a weird little chord that I use for the A7. I get two strings with my index finger. Then I leave the G open because we want that 7 sound and G is the seventh, the dominant 7th of A. And then I close off the last two with my other two fingers. A nice little A7. But not easy to play melody notes around, so a lot of times I'll bar. Then I can play the A7, A6, A major, and hammer on. Get a little color a little easier, but my hand is weak on bar chords. That's one of the reasons I gave up rock and roll. My thumb is going south in a hurry, so I try to use as few bar chords as I can. Um, I'll uh, let's see what we can do. One thing is, if you're like me and chicken on bar chords, just rearrange the song. <laughs> use more fours and fewer fives, more G's and fewer A's, and uh, it'll, it'll change the feel a little bit. You call it creativity. Let's see what. Uh, a uh, hulo maki might sound like played in G tuning taro patch in the key of D and rearranged a little bit to to do more G's and fewer A's It would take some work, but I bet you could come up with a lovely version of Hula O Maki. And if you were singing it, and so you only had to have a pa'ani for one verse, a, a solo, acoustic, an instrumental solo for one verse, why, that would be a, a lovely thing if you sing Hula O Maki in D. So maybe you'll find that useful.